contracted somebody, uh, by, uh, an Azari with a Russian background, um, so a, a non-Iranian citizen, and they picked Cyprus, uh, which is a country where it's, uh, there are Israeli investors and frequented by many Israelis. And uh, thankfully for the Cypriots, they don't have uh, to have a very strong security setup to uh, to monitor what's going on over there, unlike what we have here in the state of Israel. So it seems that, uh, yes, there was a thankfully a failed uh, attempted assassination, but uh, this should be a wake up call to uh, Israelis everywhere, uh, especially outside of Israel, that and the Iranian regime may now be looking for for uh, Israeli targets. Uh, another thing the, the, the Iranian regime may be looking for is, is a possible resumption of uh, the nuclear talks. We reported earlier that the national security advisors of Israel and the United States are meeting. But we're also hearing reports that uh, uh, the, the nuclear talks may resume. We know that there is a new uh, uh, regime in Tehran headed by Ibrahim Raisi on paper, uh, much more extreme than uh, the, the previous regime. Where does this uh, lead the nuclear talks? Is Iran really interested in them at all? I don't know why everybody's talking about the nuclear talks, to be honest with you. Um, I don't see them taking place right now. Um, the, 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 the signal from Iran recently, they set a precondition for the release of $10 billion, um, which the Germans rejected as a precondition, and rightly so. We have to remember that Iran is holding a number of dual citizens as hostage. If anyone should uh, should be uh, in Iran in such a situation, is not in a position to set preconditions. Um, I, I just don't see the Iranian regime at the moment being uh, ready to resume the talks. Um, of course, it's not Mr. Raisi who decides. He's the foot soldier of Ayatollah Khamenei, and um, they they are not in a in a hurry. And it seems for two reasons. Number one. The COVID crisis has uh, created, has basically reduced the likelihood of, of demonstrations inside Iran because of the deteriorating economic situation. People are too worried about COVID and too busy trying to make a living. And the other issue is that the Iranian regime, its own business, its own conglomerates are thriving under sanctions. Uh, you know, sanctions have deprived the Iranian consumer of many, many uh, products. So the Iranian regime is its part. It's, Companies are selling the equivalents, which are, of course, lower quality to the Iranian consumer, and they're making a mint, so they're not in a hurry. Very interesting uh, comments there. Mayor Javan Dafar, Iran lecturer at the Rahman University here in Herzliya, Israel. Thank you very much for being with us.